This episode brought to you by Virtual Shield VPN. With the authoritarian left cracking down on free speech, there's never been a better time to use a VPN. Their suggestions that our credit scores might be based on our internet history in the near future. The same way that banks use data like income to judge credit eligibility now is how websites could use internet search history in the near future. I will not let my internet history be the judge of my credit score. That's why I use Virtual Shield. Just go to the link in the description and pin comment and get Virtual Shield for 50% off today. I'll circle back if there's more I can share with you. But I'll circle back with you if there's more to convey. Um, I'll have to just circle back with you. We can circle back. With I'm happy to circle back with you. I can circle back. Uh, I will have to circle back on that one. That's an excellent question. Oh, such an important question. Uh, we will circle back with you and we'll, we'll circle back with you. It's an interesting question, but uh, we'll, we'll circle back. I'm happy to circle back, but I'll have to circle back with you on it. It's a good question, but we'll circle back with you on this today. We will certainly circle back with you more directly. Does she actually think that anybody is buying that cheesy escape plan? And has she ever actually circled back? Welcome back, everyone. First things first, if you are so inclined, hit that like button, subscribe, and you better hit that bell icon also, or else you'll never see my new content. So that montage that I started out with, apparently, and I say apparently because I've been suspended from Twitter and I have no idea what's going on there, but apparently Jen's been getting mocked on Twitter for her constant use of the deflection, I'll circle back, when she's presented with questions she doesn't want to answer. I say that because yesterday, Jen let it be known that she's triggered by conservative Twitter. Um, I often note I'm going to circle back. I hate to disappoint conservative Twitter, but I am going to circle back on a number of things, as we often do directly. Sure, Jan. I just love how anyone who calls out her obvious, constantly repeated deflections is a conservative. You can't possibly disagree or criticize Jen Psaki and not be a conservative. I have to warn you, this press conference got a lot worse with the Democrat state press corps questions. Republican leader Mitch McConnell back in 2017 famously said, um, winners make policy, losers go home. Given that, why shouldn't Democrats, why shouldn't President Biden be as tactically ruthless as Republicans have been in, in pushing priorities uh, that he champions? You want to know why public trust in the media is at all-time lows? It's not because of Trump. It's because our former free press, especially those in the press corps, are just so utterly brazen in their hackery. This, this is a disgusting display. It's one thing to love softballs, but what we see here looks more like a strategy meeting between political operatives. What are these people constantly shrieking about? About the so-called conspiracy theories constantly coming from their critics and political opposition. Far from a lot of social media sites. I'm just curious whether you think his absence has made your job any easier or the White House's job any easier as it kind of goes forward on these COVID negotiations. In what way? Well, he'd create a lot of noise, right? He, uh, he, would, he would have certain gravitational pull with Republicans who may be, um, may be more inclined to take a harder position. I wonder if that's been anything that you guys have thought about or, or kind of considered. I can't say we miss him on Twitter. Does, does President Biden support the continuing ban of, of, of President Trump on their sites? I think that's a decision made by Twitter. We've, we've certainly spoken to and he's spoken to um, the need for social media platforms to continue to take steps to reduce hate speech. Oh, just look at these hallowed protectors of democracy gleefully cheering on the censoring of people who criticize them. Being the towering intellects that these people are, I'm surprised that nobody asked Saki to define hate speech. Probably because they know that she can't, and they know that they can't. As we all know, simply disagreeing with a leftist can earn you the label of hate speech. This hard-nosed reporter wasn't at all interested in asking about Hunter Biden's dealings and how those might connect to Joe Biden, but he was really concerned about how Joe Biden's gonna deal with opposition to his agenda. Which again, is precisely why he asked about the censorship of Trump. No doubt he's worried that Trump is gonna be a thorn in the side of Biden. Just like Obama was a thorn in the side of Trump, and just like Clinton was a thorn in the side of Bush. But it's different when they do it. Make no mistake, all of this warped logic can and will be used against all of us. Just in case, make sure to follow me on all the alternate platforms. You can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.